want to talk about Texas for a moment where Trump's election lies just got a step closer to becoming an official part of the Republican platform. Again, this happened in Texas this weekend at the GOP convention in Houston. Yeah, Anna, so first to note, the Texas Republican Party had not met formally in a convention setting since 2018. I guess they made up for lost time. All right, so let's let's just start with some of what is in the Republican platform that was approved this weekend. Uh, quick note, all this stuff has to be formalized later, but we expect that it will be. Okay, first of all, it approved a measure that Biden was not legitimately elected. Uh, they rebuke the 10 GOP senators who have backed the bipartisan gun reform bill, obviously still talking about what the text will look like, what they'll do, but th that includes, right here, that includes John Cornyn of uh, Texas. I'm gonna get back to him. And they declared homosexuality an abnormal lifestyle choice. That's some of what they did in terms of the platform. Just a few of the tenets of the uh, Republicans in Texas and their platform. Um, of course, as you saw that it has homophobia attached to it, uh, complete opposition to doing anything about murdering of innocent Americans by gunfire in the country. Uh, and of course, the 2020 election has to be the pillars of the Republican Party. Um, they were passed by a voice vote for more than 270 delegates and they approved this, 270 humans read that and said, yeah, that's a good job. This is our party platform. Uh, so one is also to reject that. Let's go to details of each of those things that they were talking about there in that CNN report. The state party's resolution embracing the basis 2020 stolen election claims stated that substantial election fraud in key metropolitan areas significantly affected the results of five key states in favor of Biden. The state party, the resolution continued to reject it the certified results of the 2020 presidential election. And we hold that acting president Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. is not legitimately elected by the people of the United States. I don't care. The resolution encouraged Republicans to show up to vote in November and to bring your friends and family. Volunteer for your local Republicans and overwhelm uh, any possible fraud. So you overwhelm fraud by going in. I thought uh, Dinesh Souza said 2,000 mules came and usurped that election. I heard Donald Trump say that he's received more votes than Obama ever did. I heard him also talk about how look at these crowds I've had, look at every uh, uh, rally I've gone to, look at all these people. There's no way Biden would beat me. So showing up to vote apparently doesn't mean anything because you guys did that last time as you talk about the record numbers of doing so, which by the way was record numbers for everyone. Forget that part. But now you're gonna do it again. Which one is it? Should you show up in full support because that's the normal way to go about trying to win an election? Or do you say that it was actually um, a, a fraudulently stolen from you? Sound right. like little whiny children is what it sounds like. First on that thought, Francesca, what are your thoughts? I mean, I feel like we're seeing real fascism coalesce before our eyes. You know, the mixture of both anti-democratic, um, sort of aggrieved politics, right? Like that's the birth. You know, we think that 2016 might have been the birth of the MAGA movement. I feel like we're seeing the birth of a more serious and scary fascist movement right now. And the idea, the lie that 2020 was stolen from them, it's like a perfect, perfect origin story for you know this like very like for, for the whatever the new Reich that we're seeing <laughs> uh, rise, you know, and and that combined with the 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 homophobia, the like disgusting and like homophobia, you're like, oh no, this is Christian nationalist fascism coming to fruition, and and in the saddest part about all of that. Is these people don't remember you live in a predominantly Christian country and the political system is 150% skewed in your favor in terms of representation, in terms by the in terms of the amount of voter suppression of, of black and brown communities who predominantly vote Democrat, in terms of mm -hmm. all of these things, in terms of the majority that you're so scared of losing. I wouldn't be surprised. If next election cycle, you're gonna see another plank in that Texas Republican GOP platform, which is gonna say something like, and we believe in restoring the white race to its greatness. I mean, that that's not, they'll have maybe different language around that, but it, effectively that's what I feel like we're going toward. Um, I think maybe that that whole party line that Donald Trump supported during his time in office was what was it? Uh, Jews will not replace us. That party yeah. platform that he supported as well, because when he saw that, he said those were good folks. Let's jump yes. down the graphic for because I want to get to this other egregious part about this before we run out of this. Because not only that, not only the, the talk about stolen 2020 election, we've heard all that before. Also, they talked about let's do nothing about guns. John Cornyn's a traitor. How about this part? The homosexuality plank passed the platform committee by a vote of 17 to 14. And that's according to Mr. Vaughn, an openly gay member of the committee who voted against it. To toss 
Mr. Toth disagreed though, saying that on abortion gay rights in the 2020 election, the Republican Party has been consistent in sticking to its conservative principles. Defense of marriage, abortion, Second Amendment, where have we moved to the right? Where, where have we moved to the right, he asked. The Republicans have always been strong defenders of constitutional family values. And as you can see, of course, they go with the encouraged conversion therapy, pushing folks against who it is that they are, telling parents that, oh, yeah, it's totally, yeah, this whole thing that happened in your family, this devastation of you having a child who's a person, we have to change that. Again, um, this is the stance of the Republican Party. We've talked before about how they want to push these types of, 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 uh, Culture war items, this is the approach for them getting reelected or getting back into power when it comes to the house. They're just standing on it and they actually have zero principles. Or those principles are based in violence and hatred and trying to chase people from who they really are. (laughs) Sounds like a party you want to get involved in. Again, I ask you, what about this is appealing to you? 